channel my name is Mahesh Karia you guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through the ClickHouse database if you haven't heard about this database see this query billions of rows in milliseconds so you can see uh, within just one second it processed 1 billion of rows and 11 GB of data okay this is 1.3 billion of rows and 14.27 GB per second it's processing so this is super cool actually you can just see this thing at once you can integrate with this thing with any database okay these are data warehouses built on the top of postgres maybe or mongodb mysql whatever it may be this is a column based database unlike your row based this is column based okay the good thing is this is open source and this is available for free trial and if you click here this this will provide you a huge amount of data storage for the free if you click here if you see uh, the service name that uh, you wanted is mk test 56 development i'll say this thing will provide me 1 tb of storage this is super cool 16 gb of total memory for the free <laughs> free usage okay so of course this is available for docker as well like uh, you can search for docker hub and what i'll say is click house so you can simply grab this click house server okay or uh, you can find for the docker compose directly here and uh, or uh, you can hit this command fun command is super enough i guess so grab this command try this out it is super cool and there are extensions are also available here if you search for click house don't forget to install the required uh, things okay i hope this should be available in here as well if i go here uh, i'm not sure about this thing i'm not sure about this thing but yeah for this as well or uh, for uh, Okay, quick start. Nowadays, ClickHouse I've seen somewhere should be available. So yeah, install this extension and try this out. And this is Node package. If you go here, let me create this first. So it will create in particular GCP or AWS or anywhere you can choose to uh, access these things on your localhost for just testing. I'm saying. This is my default username and this is my password. You can directly download this. And this is it, I guess. This is the HTTPS connection that you can search from. Uh, this is URL you can import into your postman. Uh, this is native. Uh, if you have a ClickHouse client, you can directly use this native uh, shell, I can say. So for connection, I won't use anything. Let me see. SQL console will be available after this service is provisioned. Okay, let's let's wait for it. This is 23 version. And if I go here on click house and pm, let me search quickly. So here you can see this is the uh, connection thing is super easy. Cons click house connect this thing basic auth you need to provide that default id password that you got zip and zip for the processing you can optimize format whatever the format you want like you can mention here tsv like file and basic auth will be null in case of uh, this empty password or you can use this thing as well query is simple like all the queries like select queries you can directly use and most of the SQL queries are like here possible and it will look to it all the like rows it's going to get and you can query that particular uh, records so th this sounds super easy this is available for other languages as well most of the guys familiar with node but uh, if you are dealing with huge data set so we generally prefer multi-threading and bunch of other formations of the pagination and all but what's happening here is this thing okay let's try to connect this open sql console here only you can directly open the sql console this is the beauty of uh, clickhouse cloud try this out and here we go we i like i don't have any database yet so i can see anything here 
but if i go here and if i search for olap if you see column oriented database is better suited for olap scenarios they have at least 100 times uh, at least 100 times processing most of the queries the reason behind that is clickhouse uses most of all available system resources so that that's what happened so you don't have to worry about uh, the other optimization on other databases okay on other databases what we do is create subroutines maybe in golang or you create a uh, workers in node.js to optimize the queries but what's happening here is super cool actually this is this will take care of all of these kind of things okay and you can create a new table here name it user maybe uh, column name will be name type will be string default value nothing another one will be email maybe type default string nullable no continue anyway warning uh unrecommended unrecommended table configuration okay nullable columns may not be used in the table sort key okay fine it's fine we need to follow a bunch of things open the query let's see how the query looks like query looks like a simple uh, create table let's see how it get created it will look like this insert a new row name will be mahesh okay email will be mrg.com and let's see how it looks like okay create query where i can click insert this one okay so i got the records i just wanted to see how it looks like and this is super easy seems like and here this is my default in information schema from where you will get the bunch of rows and all the information of what i just okay this is sorting ascending descending all the operations you can directly do it from here okay sort cannot be applied the selecting ascending descending okay fine let me export this thing let me see what we get in the file i'm not okay the csv file only great 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 like this that csv file will get directly editable with uh, here as well okay then this is this is super easy super cool uh, click on queries these are the within one millisecond <laughs> it got uh, created this file okay this is just four millisecond it got to, to the thing so yeah this is super easy try this out guys this is super easy i'm already started enjoying it and uh, i i'll suggest to use this for the specific use case okay upload csv file directly okay so yeah this is it thank you so much for your time guys see you soon in next video till then tata bye bye and if you don't like if you haven't subscribed my channel already feel free to subscribe my channel thank you so much tata bye bye